The entirety of the Lamar Jackson contract negotiations and the rumors surrounding it was something almost unseen in professional football history. After three great seasons from the QB, Eric DaCosta mentioned Lamar saying that the Ravens were willing to negotiate when Lamar wanted, and that it took two sides to work on the deal. As a fan base, Ravens fans were ecstatic to hear news about a potential contract signing in the offseason. That unfortunately did not occur, as the two sides could never find a number they both could agree on. During the 2021 NFL season, Lamar showed out, carrying the injury-plagued Ravens to the top seed of the AFC with an 8-3 record before his eventual ankle injury. The team struggled without him for the rest of the season, showing the importance of Lamar in the Ravens franchise. Due to the fact that Lamar Jackson did not return for the rest of the 2021 NFL season, many outside fan bases made assumptions that there was a chance that Lamar did not want to risk getting injured anymore, since the next year would begin his contract year, or that he wanted out of Baltimore. During the following offseason, contract talks began to heat up, with many reporters saying that Lamar Jackson was offered a $133 million deal. Other reports mentioned that Lamar Jackson was offered a $250 million deal. However, Lamar shot down these reports with a tweet. This method of communication with outsiders became very common for Lamar, as many fans, especially those of the Ravens, began to carefully inspect his Twitter, watching his likes, replies, and tweets to see if there were any clues to whether or not a deal was close, or if Lamar even wanted to stay in Baltimore. Nearing the beginning of the 2022 season, Lamar said that there was a deadline of negotiations. This was set on Friday, September 9th. On this day, many Ravens fans were demoralized as an agreement between the two sides were unable to be made. Throughout the season, fans speculated on whether or not this would be the last season of Lamar in Baltimore. In one game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Lamar was given a sign that stated, Pay 8 now. This photo went viral as many fans hoped that this meant Lamar still wanted to be there, as they were looking for anything to be hopeful about. During a game on December 4th against the Denver Broncos, Lamar went down after getting sacked. He was diagnosed with a sprained PCL and would not return that season. Nearing the end of the regular season, many reports were made that Lamar may return in the coming weeks for the playoffs. This was nowhere near the truth, however, as Lamar was unable to play in the wildcard game against the Cincinnati Bengals. In fact, he did not even travel with the team to Cincinnati. This raised even more speculations after the game with many stating that Lamar did not even want to be with the team for a playoff game, so why would he want to be there any longer? From this game on, speculations rose and rose every single day. Every day until March 7th. On this day, the fan base had hoped for an extension announcement. However, on March 7th, the franchise tag deadline, Lamar was tagged. However, he was given the non-exclusive tag, meaning that he could negotiate with any of the NFL teams. But if he agreed to a contract, the Ravens had the right to match. This opened a door of possibilities for Lamar and the Ravens. However, it was also a smart move by the Ravens front office, as since their negotiations were at a standstill, they hoped that another team could either show Lamar his true value or get an agreement, which would force Lamar to return to Baltimore after the match. On March 27, 2023, during the owners' meetings, the Ravens were scheduled to speak in front of the media at around 9.50 a.m. Central Time. Two minutes before that, however, Lamar Jackson dropped a bombshell on media, fan bases and front offices alike, publicly stating that he had requested a trade from Baltimore on March 2nd, weeks before. This crippled the Ravens fan base, as many assumed that Lamar's time in Baltimore was officially over. The feeling of hopelessness only stayed for a few more weeks, and ended on Easter afternoon. This was when the Ravens agreed to a contract with Odell Beckham Jr., a close friend of Lamar's. That night, Lamar posted a picture of him and Beckham on a FaceTime call together. This lifted the spirits of many Ravens fans, maybe signaling a chance of a contract signing in the coming weeks. Finally, after weeks of hope, the conclusion of the drama ended. One month exactly after his public trade request on April 27th, he signed the largest contract of all time. I just want to say to everyone who made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you, seriously. Uh, I really worked hard on this. I really wanted to make another one since the last one had more success than any other video on my channel. So maybe I'm going to stick with this content. I'm hoping it really continues to do well. But like any other YouTuber, I'm going to say, can you please like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You don't have to. I don't really. It, it matters to me, but it doesn't. It's not like one of those big things. As long as you enjoy the content, that's all that matters to me. Um, I'm hoping that I can get a schedule of football 
like history videos on a Saturday, and I'm gonna try and do one for every single team. So if you want to do it, me to do a team, uh, comment that down below. Chiefs, Spike, it don't really matter. I couldn't care less. I'll do one. I'm just sticking with the first two for Ravens since I'm a really big Ravens fan. And then maybe like on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, I'll post like NBA, and maybe in the future I'll do MLB and that kind of stuff. But right now I'm kind of sticking with my two main sports. So if you guys any have any ideas for any future videos, any future teams, or specific seasons, just like the 2021 season as a whole, or something like that, or the bubble season for the NBA, um, I'll do that for sure. Uh, yeah, just let me know. Let me know. Uh, I'll make anything. I'm excited to continue making these videos. Thank you guys for watching.